Hi, in this video we will learn about the notion of linear independent and linear dependent um, set of vectors and we will see how this notion is related to solving a system of linear equations. Uh, let me start with recalling that zero vector is always a linear combination of any given set. So zero vector is a linear combination of any set of vectors. So you give me any vector. So let me just work with two by two vectors. You give me any set of vectors, one, one, then um, one, negative one, and then three, one. I can find a linear combination of these guys, which gives me zero vector. And that linear combination, this is the easiest possible linear combination. You multiply zero scalar to all the vectors and then add them. Yeah. Well, sometimes you have more than this uh, way of writing zero as linear combination, more than one way. And that is, well, for example, in this case, I can write two times one, one and then write plus one times one negative one, and then plus negative one times three one. And you see, if you do this operation, you will see that this guy is going to be really, again, zero, zero. So this zero, um, the first, linear combination always exists and it's called trivial uh, this call this will call trivial linear combination but if one of these at least one of these coefficients is non-zero we call it non-trivial linear combination so zero can be uh, written as linear combination of any set of vectors because there is a trivial way of writing that and sometimes there are cases that you can write uh, non-trivial linear combinations also to get zero and that is where this definition comes in first of all being able to write um, no, find num trivial solution, non-trivial com linear combinations of vectors for zero is a property of the vectors you're studying here. So this is the definition. A set of vector like V1 up to Vk are called or is linear dependent if if there is a non-trivial linear combination for zero using these vectors or in other words if there are scalars c1 up to ck um, at least one of which is non-zero. So that non-zero uh, coefficient generates zero is called non-trivial case, uh, such that zero vector can be written as linear combination with those coefficients. And if there are no other, no linear combination other than the trivial one, then we call the set linearly independent. Otherwise, 
um, v1 up to vk are linearly independent. So linearly independent means that the only way we can write zero as linear combination of these guys is the trivial linear combination. So as an example, now we have a, an example in hand. Example. These two, these vectors. Are linearly dependent. Why? Because we found a non-trivial linear combination of these guys which give us zero vector okay how about well a little bit more let's check something example um, determine if a set of vectors one one and two one is linearly independent or not so are, are these two vectors linearly independent or or not okay so what we are looking for so we are trying to see if there is a way other than the trivial way to write zero vector as linear combinations of these two vectors in other words is there a way or what are the possibilities for x and y such that this equality is true so what are x and y's well it means that solve this thing yes so solving this um, will be one one two one zero zero so we are trying to see if this system has a solution or not if it is consistent or not so for that i can do row reduction and i see that this is zero negative one zero and this is uh one two zero this is row row reduction uh, row row ashlam uh, form and you see that um well first of all this is consistent um, well, the trivial is a solution. Trivial solution is there. But if we try to solve this, we get negative y is equal to 0. And x plus 2y is equal to 0. Plug in these guys in. So y is equal to 0. And x is equal to 0. What does this say? It says that the only values of x, y, which gives us zero as linear combinations of one one and two one are zero and zero so that means that the only possibility for zero to be linear combinations of these two guys is the trivial case that means that zero uh, so the vectors one one and two one are are linearly independent and as you saw in the above example this can be translated in in the terms of the matrices or a system of linear equations theorem vectors v1 v2 up to vk are linearly independent if and only if the homogeneous linear system 
what linear system so you put v1 in the first column v2 in the second column up to vk in the third the kth column and on the right hand side zero zero so this is a homogeneous system if this guy has only trivial solution means that only solution is zero 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 then the uh, the vectors are linearly independent otherwise they are not linearly independent so the definition of the linearly independent can be translated in terms of system of linear equations when the homogeneous linear linear system uh, has a, a trivial only trivial solution then the columns are linearly independent